Welcome to a new episode of I'm So Angry. I'm back with Who Are You? I'm Grant Ashford. Uh, you saw me with your favorite spiral hipster, Zach. Shout out to you. With uh, what? Invoked Mech Knights? With Invoked Mech Knights. Man, that was so long ago. Yeah, That's 200 YCS. Been a while. Yeah. And what do you have for me today? I have Vermeil Orcus. What? It's the spicy version of the Orcus. <laughs> play budget and not pay for dangers this is the best one to do the best one the best one to do well because everything, everything you're printed from that set right yeah everything's low rarity you can get everything i'm you'll see what i got but however yeah <laughs> <laughs> and but, why, why are you playing this deck it's besides um, budgets mermails have been my favorite deck since 2011 there was a great deck and then i've been playing against Orcus since Soul Fusion with my friend Martin. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out. So, seeing that it combined and works really well, I like, gotta give it a try. And it's the best way to play this deck if you want to like end up winning, taking some events, it could definitely do that for sure. And it's super fun, right? It is. I love It's the best. It's the best deck. <laughs> Alright, so to start with the Mermails. Okay, let's see. We're doing... Three tears. Ultimate rares. Fancy, fancy. Okay. And we're doing a guns. And then we're doing dine. What dine does is uh, when you search, mm -hmm. uh, when it searched off a of mermail, you special summon it. So the whole point of orc is to get two monsters. So if you have a hand with Teus and a water to search two monsters, you get combo. That's the entire point of the Oh, so Tay is something in it special energy. Yep, and, and then you just get combo. Ah, and why do you play Gund? And Gund is, Gund is good because I forget that it triggers off of any discards. So you can trigger off your discards of your Nightmare, and reviving monsters is very good. You can want as many monsters as you can to link off, because you want to make more Galateas if you can, if you have an Orcus to revive. It just gives you more board presence, and if you, I run Megalo. Mm -hmm. If you open Megalo, just, just the one. It's actually like a very cuttable card, surprisingly. Really? Yeah, it's it's like it's been on and off, but it's one of those like instances where it could be good if your hand's like pretty shaky. So if you have something like if you've seen these two in your starting hand, but you see this, you can discard these two, summon the Megalo. And then gun will trigger to revive this. You got two monsters, so it's like, so just in case you have bricky hands, you can cut it. But I, I mean, Megalo is Megalo is bay. I love Megalo. Is that a trigger? Yeah. All right, now to the spicy engine. The diva uh -huh. sadly is at one, but it summons the three Neptibus. The best card. Best card. Best card. Then you got. Three Dragoons. Ooh. Next best card, and this is very fancy. Uh, so Dragoons, usually you would search the Megalo and hold the Mermails, but now Savage Strike gave us Lapis Dragon. What? What does this card do? So if this is searched by a card effect from either the deck or in the grave, you just special summon him. And I'm going to say, show you why that's relevant with the combo later. Okay, what's that from? This is from a Savage Strike. Savage Strike. I was waiting for this a while. I always... Wait for the water support, it's always good. Okay. And then Malin Glacia. Rip cards hand. Rip cards at hand. It's it's part of the combo, so like this is not like, oh I'm gonna see it. This uh, is guaranteed you all see the it. time. Like okay. it's always in your deck and you can search it. And then infantry is uh, like a going yeah, it's a going second, it pops face up. Mm -hmm. Its field effect is really good where uh, it's a Seraph Knight for level 4 or lower Sea Serpents when it's on the field. So if you have enough to miss in this in hand and you're going first, that's all you really have. If you want like two monsters, you just do that, revive, summon the Nephthys from hand, uh, do stuff like that. But like it's also like you can pop stuff because... Um, they were the flood beats, right? Yeah, Nightmare Mermaid is water, yeah. so it would trigger all your Atlanteans. Oh, that's nice, that's sweet. And you're going to see like how good that gets too. Okay. So that's the Atlantean engine. And for the classic, you got the boots, the cloak, you just need it for combo. And then playing two hard four, I was playing one for a while. You can get away with one, but the more you have, the better. It's just too good. Uh, simple skeleton, 
again, you only really need one of this because when you get the com the combo so strong in Orcus in general that it doesn't really make a difference of like the ratios. You just you're trying to win. Yep. To make my board, and then the two Orcus nightmares because if you see one, you can still use mermaid. And one. This is I like one because it made me run one heart horror. Mm -hmm. Because you could just revive it again, make it this your next mill for next turn. Then Harpoor goes into your grave, and then you use Harpoor to summon and start it all over. Okay. Well, that's it for that. And then we're just playing three Ash for the hand traps. Generic. Yeah, you can add mailers and permanents. Um, I feel like I want it to be as consistent as possible, so I'm, I'm only doing the minimal amount of hand traps. Yep. And this is definitely the best one in the game. Alright, that's it for the monsters. Monster Mash. Now, this you don't have to run, but I do because it's too good not to run Whoa, any Orcus. And the Hornet Drones. Hornet Drones is a one card combo. This is just to get your one card combo. So you can play without these if you want, if you can't afford them, and just play this. I still recommend always playing this. Yeah. But um, this is just the. This is consistency. You never really draw either, but it's just to get this. Yep. Uh. This deck loses the hand trap is really call bad. by the grave. So you need your call by the grave. Self-explanatory for that. Two twin twisters. Mm -hmm. Kind of have to play these now. All these the, decks the that are around. Mystic Mind. Mystic <laughs> Mind. <laughs> Sky Striker. Alter Geist. Mm -hmm. You name it. Everything is there. So <clears throat> this is about, and this also triggers gun. If oh, it does. You discard. Yeah. Oh. Gun works off of anything. So it's a pretty good card. <coughs> The Monster Reborn, mm -hmm. Extender, Foolish, foolish. Extender. Um, if they like ash you or they stop you, this is your other way to get to the combo. So if they stop your mermaid, you foolish, and you send the nightmare anyway. Or you can send the heart for you can pretty much just it's just like another way to get to combo if you yep. get stopped. Okay. Then you got the one babble. Uh, this card is actually disgusting. I I might run two of this. All these all these high rarities that rare? Yeah. What I got, the hell? <laughs> I know. The, I got the important stuff back Okay, you do, you do, you do, you do. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is going to be super soon, definitely. Uh, then for the traps, that's it for the spells. The crescendo. Okay. Or okay. And then... Fog blades. The fog blades. The thing. shade breaking. You never make, you don't make redoer in this because you can't get another four. Uh -huh. But this is just a good extender if you have it in your hand. You can search it off of boots if you already have these. So you know, it's it's a good card, very good card. How many mana cards? Uh, forty three. Forty three. I tried to make it forty. I'm a man of forty, but I couldn't figure out anything to cut. So <laughs> I just I added more cards. There's so many cool stuff to play. Yeah, right? like this, it's just too good to do forty. <coughs> All right. Now on to the extra deck. Extra deck. We got one Dingrisu. Now this would be two. I do not have two. I would recommend two. But one works. As long as you have one, you're good. Because <laughs> that's it. Uh, long Grisu. If you like open a lot of extenders or ways to get more monsters, you can make like crazy boards that have this and this and like the tower. So this, um, what it does, it sends. A linked monster by ban returning two banish to your deck. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's good. It's non targeting, so it's like Dingrisu. You know, it happens. So you got three Galatea. Okay. I only can afford one ulti. <laughs> shiny. Uh, I started with one, and bumped it up to two, bump it up to three. This is just like you need it for the grind game. Best card in the entire deck. It's too good. Besides being recent. Mm -hmm. That's it for the Orcus. Uh, Gagari for the Hornet. And uh, Rusty for the Phantom Knight. This card is disgusting. It's my first time like really playing with this. Yeah. It's nasty. It's I so see, good. I see why people play with the rank up. Like this is this is disgusting. Adds so many cards. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't believe how good this is. And it's from the legendary I deck. Know. And it was TCG. So, the, best card. the Nightmares, Unicorn, Cerberus, Phoenix, and I'm playing two because if one gets stopped, which it usually will, it's always good to have the second, and it being water is also very relevant.
and then the best part. Mermail, so. Two of this is pretty good. Uh, I actually never make unicorn. No. So that's what probably take out for another yeah, suit. It could it would probably be for the Dingree suit uh -huh. or it'd probably be for like another one of Phoenix or Cerberus oh, just to have. Okay. Because these ones are just important if they like if you don't have these anymore, this is like impossible to make. Yep. So this is just too hard to go through sometimes. Yeah, they don't want to bring all the resources. Yeah. Um now I got fours. I had space, uh -huh. so this could also be the Dingree suit. Um it's I mean it's okay, it's a dark, it's a four. And you got your Boral Sword for OTK and Boral Load for Thunder Dragon, which is by far your worst matchup. So hard, right? In the entire. You can't add anything. Yeah, you can't add anything. So this is like, this is so good against Colossus. And yeah, that's it for the extra deck. Would you play any Exceeds? Um, if you had a chance. Yeah, Abyss Guys is actually not a bad card. Or Red Eyes Metal Flare is actually oh, pretty good. Flare is too. Those are like pretty good. The, you don't really get two sevens as often because mm -hmm. you're more likely linking them up. Yeah. So sometimes it can happen, and I was I was considering trying a seven, but if I could fit it, I probably would. It'd be one of those two for sure. All right, that okay. takes the combo. Ooh, combo Spicy time! Spicy combo time! Okay. It's combo time! Combo time! How many cards do you need for this combo? Like what? One card? One card. Just one card. <laughs> this is why this card is so good. Oh damn! And you're gonna see the lapis dragon. Okay. All right. So you just summon this. Okay. You activate its effect. It's a pitch of dragoons. That's cost, right? Yeah, it's cost, and then you search a dragoon. Okay. Uh, dragoons will trigger, searching your Lapis Dragon. Mm -hmm. Lapis Dragon activates, special summoning itself. Mm -hmm. So already off the bat, you got. You got nightmare. Right? Two monsters. So you link away for the Phoenix mm -hmm. or whatever. Link away. The mermaid. This is why you still only need one card. Huh? Ditching the dragoons off the mermaid. Ah. To summon your Cards it does suck against dangers, but that's whatever. Yeah, Gripping two cards, they're starting with three, and then you just pretty much go into your standard uh, activate nightmare uh -huh. to target to <laughs> ban it to mill your hard pour, okay. and the hard pourer activates. So your skeleton okay. now. You could do the Galatea right now, but I'm gonna do it for later. So you're gonna make your handy dandy broken card. The best card, like I this guy's so good. He's amazing. So you can use his effect. Uh, you're gonna mill the cloaks to set fog. Okay. And you also wanna keep the mountains basically like far out of the way as you possibly can. Why? Because it can get it away with like oh, the yeah. arrows, so you just yeah. wanna like it's just like a card. Precautionary. Yeah, just like just like I've, I've made the mistake of not doing. Make that. sure I put it far away, or else, <laughs> or else you will, over. you will lose. <laughs> uh, so then, use the simple skeleton mm -hmm. to revive the Galatea. Now Galatea would trigger and put the nightmare back in your deck. Mm -hmm. There, and you can honestly, the tower is probably better than the. Trap. Yeah. And the reason why is because it makes them all quick effects. So on your opponent's turn, you can just reset the crescendo. You can just set the crescendo oh, yeah. from the Galatea. Okay. And you can just revive Galatea through the simple skeletons if you want to do that. Obviously, the degree suit is good too. So we're going to do the field spin. Okay. But you can do the counter trap depending on your hand if you have more like really good cards. So then the cloak will banish, searching your boots. Okay. Then you control a phantom knight, so you're just gonna special. special plop, plop right there, and then you're going to link away into another galaxy. Uh, their hard must return, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, then boots will be searching your final fog blade okay. in your hand, so you're just gonna set it. You gotta avoid the mech knights. Mm -hmm. Be mindful of that. Uh, 
Uh, so then you overlay for uh, Dengrisu. Do that. Uh, now, okay. what you can do is if you don't mind skipping your battle phase, mm -hmm. you can link away these two for another Galatea for a third one, which is why it comes up sometimes. Wow, three Galateas. Three Galateas. You can just leave on the Dengrisu if you want, yeah. but um, this is so on your opponent's turn, since you have the thing, the Skeleton can revive this, Yep. and you can send a card on your opponent's side of the field. And then pop a card too with that guy, and right? pop a card too with him. Uh -huh. And Galatea can go on the standby phase and just shuffle like the Harpoor back yeah. and set the counter trap. But uh, you still have the link cluster. Okay. So it really depends on how you want to do it. Yeah. But generally, I think that's pretty the best way, and that's I why think so I like too. I really like this field. So it's too powerful. It has to be super though for it to actually work. <laughs> yeah. I need to answer some more tournaments. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But that's that's pretty much combo. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank you so much. Hi.